Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to look at dealing with problems with the local keychain. Uh, once in a while I run into this problem myself, but uh, our clients do too, where the local keychain becomes corrupted. Sometimes it could be if you change the password in your main account, or sometimes you delete account off your computer, or put a new account on your computer, and the local keychain will keep popping up asking for a password. Um, and you put in what the you think is the correct password and it just doesn't seem to work. So for example here, if I open up Safari, I'm going to get a situation where uh, Safari wants to use the local items keychain. I put in what I know is the right password and it's just not working. So no matter what I do, it just keeps complaining about that. So, you know, I would go cancel and go on my way web browsing and so on. You can go and uh, do a few things. And then as soon as you go to quit Safari again, then it pops up with the same, same complaint. And we have to hit cancel and so on. Now you can get around it, you can still use your computer, but it's a real irritation. So one thing we can do is to just delete uh, that keychain and it'll reset itself when you reboot the computer. So the first thing is to go here to the Go menu go down to go to folder and then type in tilde slash library. So if it's not already in there, if you haven't been there before, chances are you might have to type that in slash library, hit go. And this will open you up into the library folder for your home folder. And then what we need to do is scroll until we find keychains. And then here, you find the, the first folder. This is the one that actually holds the uh, local keychains folder. Delete that. Close this. And then we're going to empty the trash. It'll complain, but that's okay. Great, the trash is empty. Now we're going to reboot the computer. So I'm going to reboot and I'm, I'll be right back. Okay, we are right back after rebooting the computer. So let's try out opening Safari and see if we still get that error message. Perfect, message is gone. And we can go to a web page. Great. And we can quit Safari and no more error message. I'll actually show you uh, where you can see the keychains. If you go into the utilities folder, you can open a new finder window on applications, scroll to the bottom and go to utilities. Then you can find an application in here called Keychain Access. And then it will show you uh, the keychains where it's storing a lot of uh, passwords when you enter them into forms uh, or applications. So this is the one here, uh, local items that was causing us a problem. So right now it's empty, so you'll have to enter in some of the uh, passwords that you may have saved in the past, uh, but at least you're not going to be getting this error message all the time. Well, I hope uh, this uh, tip was useful to you and helped you fix the error message that you get with local items keychains from time to time. And if you liked the video and it was useful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. We'll keep putting more videos with tips and tricks on making your computer work better and dealing with problems. And also share it. Uh, share it on Facebook, send it to friends who it might help, um, and promote it anywhere you can. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.